his agents throughout Italy, gauging which cities would be loyal to him and which... Red Bull came in here. This is a kind of room, a uh, legendary campaign in Total War Artillery's part 14. Previously, we've been attacked by Western Roman separators and generals Hedronius, Canelius, Marcellus, and their faction leader Gaius Titinius Piso and Lucius Pasidius Scivola. We are going to do this battle manually, of course, uh, and there's no hope of victory, of course, we are badly outnumbered, but, but we will try. We'll try to hold them and come, uh, cause a much, as much as possible a damage to their force. So that next turn, my army nearby can go on and defeat them, I hopefully. I'm referring to the army stationed near uh, in the city of Aquileia. Okay. Palatina Guards. And our all this is our settlement. Placing Germanic pikemen here. And Legios. They might have some cavalry, but I don't know. Defensive positions. Stay here. Stay here. We got lots of archers here. Oh. Stay in the narrow bridge. General. Stay near your boy. Shield wall. General. I did to Studer. Mobile to Studer first. Use Ballistaria. The missile damage is 65, while Sagittarius 38. 65. Far better missile damage. Effectively, two legions are of levies who had managed to and the march and fourth legions. He too received a send off from the Senate, which holds that three of you once again, the mandate is no. his resignation, but as Decimus once again refused, the All of you. Began marching Unwatch. Defensive positions. opened their gates to him, not wanting to be sacked. Decimus, however, had three legions, two made up of veterans, and a sizable force of gladiators. He marched to Mutina and to defend the city. You, 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 you. Arrived you. shortly, besieging the city and encircling it with walls. Just as Caesar had done at Alessia. So you can't march it like this. 44 BC had come to an end. And new consuls were like you. Need to reinforce somewhere. General! Perhaps. But both were somewhat moderate. Put you somewhere here. I'm not sure. Cicero of the danger that Antony presented. 
Cicero was doubling down General. on his attacks against Antony, and in an impassioned speech in the Senate, called for Antony to be declared an enemy of the people. Hold position. In an equally impressive speech. And that's pretty much all our army deployment is done for. Trying to decrease the tension Let's go forward. The last decade of wars, defended Antony, insisting that his crimes were not enough to we be have declared an the enemy, enemy of the state, and advocating for Antony to stand trial. Despite Where's their reinforcements? The Senate initially attempted to negotiate, offering him the governorship of Macedonia, but Antony was having none of it, citing the vote of the people's I Assembly. don't see their reinforcements anywhere. Antony's rejection laid into Cicero's hands perfectly, and he convinced the Senate to declare both Antony and Dolabella enemies of the state. I'm not sure what the they're coming. Time, Cicero ensured that Octavian had the legal right to command armies on I the see. Senate, the reinforcement is coming from the east. And Panzer, who had been instructed to raise troops east, to east, 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 south, Lastly, or east, north, Brutus whatever it's Cassius called. Cassius were both confirmed as governors of Macedonia and Syria, with all governors east of the Adriatic being instructed to assist them in any way they could. It was a masterful play that returned the power to the Senate with consuls sympathetic to their cause. Their army the mostly army consisted of and the East spear infantry, sword infantry, shock cavalry, they even got some honey horse archers. Brutus, having rallied which is quite Greece ridiculous. 44 BC, marched into Macedonia, seizing it and capturing Antony's brother Gaius. Meanwhile, Cassius had leveraged his incredible popularity in the East, a result of his heroic conduct in Crassus's otherwise right, disastrous campaign. With the Senate having Battle assigned all these to the government of Brutus, Cassius had managed to get a huge force of 12 legions and marched to Syria, confronting Dolabella at Laodicea. Scout Equitas, missionary step lancer. Dolabella committing suicide with the assistance of his soldiers. Antony's position was now perilous. Honey calls archers. Was nervous, as despite the okay. Imperium to command He's got Equitus taking lots of damage. And subservient to the new consuls, who could easily remove him from his command. His primary motivation was to destroy the liberators and the Pompeians. But it now seems that the Pompeian faction had been revived nice. and was in power. Steady, man. Still if thinking you that his best chances fight. lay with the Senate. Octavian continued to assist the two consulates. Hansa okay. was still levying legions, but Tertius was taking command of the two ex and commit tensus spears. With winter closing in and Decimus running low on supplies, the two marched to his position to put pressure on Antony. Given the quality of Antony's army, however, they were apprehensive to the fire. fire. But it's very, uh, very effective. Pursuing a stringent anti Antony policy by extracting heavy taxes from Antony's allies to raise war funds. However, he went too far. This is one of them, and he was to rally three leaders worth of veterans. With this force, he tried to make his way to Antony, but finding the oh, yeah. block by Octavian Tertius diverted to Picina to bide his time. Meanwhile, Hansa, having recently had a new war on the Olympics, marched to Octavian and Tertius in late March of 43 BC. Nothing remains of that tower now! Tower has been destroyed. Antony, upon hearing this, and fearing that he would soon be massively outnumbered, what about other side? decided to oh, try to defeat his enemy. Targetarian! Targetarian. Even two of his best of the Olympics, the second and the 35th, the two cohorts of his picked bodyguard, and a significant number of cavalry between Octavian and Tertius's armies, Antony marched to the Via Amelia, positioning themselves near the Forum Dolorum, just outside the marshes. There you go. Enemy units have returned to the battle! Pistudo, become Pistudo. They might take any time. We are trying to take out our general! Defend him! Octavian had been cautious. Oh. I think we need to see reinforcements. for the story of the attack. Why are they losing it? I could be losing it. Legion deployed in line in front of the marshes, they had effectively blocked the, the levies from joining them. The body 
Seems the Messina Germanic Pikes cannot hold the line long up. Bad problem is this Hanik Horse actually. It's causing lots of problems. Deploy your new line. Come over here. Otherwise, you guys. Sure. And generally, just losing lots of. In general, might die sooner. They are the most problematic, problematic ones. They are the most problematic ones. Yeah. Well, I think Cowering don't deploy them yet. Or maybe come over here. Maybe we could grip them first. Later on, fight again. General just don't die yet. That's the only thing I want. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. I think we should go forward and defend the general there. You guys. Oh shit, our general is dead. The enemy general is dead! The enemy general is dead too. Come on, what are you gonna do? Go back here. And we need to face them now. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Bad thing is the general is dead. Back here. Come on, come on. Don't tell me we're gonna lose. Okay. 
should make them keep getting tired. While Octavian's force had managed to inflict more casualties, they had failed to the primary objectives. Antony was still alive and had managed to escape. Uh, oh, the camera is still attacked. Oh, There's too many troops. One of us just get back in sport. Materia, we don't know what to do about that. If they do that, we really don't know what to do about that. Too much lagging. My computer specifications to me to deal with this. Someone's gonna go. This Balistaria must be useful. I think they are useful, so I'm going to break them. Break them, break them, break them. Alienated. They are very close to... Oh, you. Yeah, you hold the line. Help holding the line. That's important. You should have done as much as possible. Okay, perfect. They're very close at shattering. Their killer has so many troops, especially by the star here. The conspirators have assassinated Caesar, supposedly under the impression that by removing a tyrant, enemy the units have been rallied. Is it time for the losers using if our? This was their intention, then it maybe was it's time to uh, use what our cavalry, maybe? There's too many of them. Okay. It was the Maybe it's time for me to use the cavalry. Call him in. Charge at them. Take out the Materia troops. I know that this video is coming to support them. Oh shit. Don't engage with them. Definitely not. It's just too great. Oh, that chart just really broke my cavalry ones. Because of the fucking leg here. Oh, break them, break them. Tell me you can gain some victory over him. Oh shit. Just going to help them. And Bastoria 
family here. Come over here. Don't let them, don't let them totally finish you off. Cowley run away. Fucking cowards. Well, I'll just fast forward and there's not much we to do right now. Was the leaders of government shouting and panicking, some covered in blood and others wielding weapons. In this chaos, Antony, who had not entered the chambers, was able to and disguise by the stairs. himself in his house. Finish your ammunition. Some uninvolved senators saw an opportunity yeah, actually to there's one watch the terrible. and seize daggers and Now just wait, hoping themselves. that they would shatter. The group merged with Decimus's gladiators stationed outside of the theater and went to the center of Rome, announcing that a Brutus had once more rid Rome of a king. The public, however, was not won over. Caesar had brought a short period of stability to Rome after a long civil war, and now senators were marching through the streets with armed gladiators. The public was scared. They veterans were in the city, they might and lose, there was a general fear of what these veterans would do. To add to this terror, Just if I have more ammunition and more troops, I definitely could death, defeat them. Had gone to Tiber Island, where the sources were stationed. He then marched them to the Campus Martius to await Antony's arrival. I really they wanted they would vengeance, but agreed that they could not wait for the wavering. streets. The men are broken and running for their lives. They decided to bide their time to await the conspirators' firing. next move. The conspirators reached the Capitoline and blocked eh. themselves on the hill. I guess the valley is quite over. Again, proclaim the death of a tyrant. In response, the public tyrant. shouted back that all they wanted was peace. Sinner, who had been named Praetor by Caesar, stepped forward and threw his official garb aside, saying it had been given by a tyrant and was thus illegal. He praised the conspirators, but the public remained unconvinced. Dolabella, who Caesar had well. to be consul for when he left for Parthia, Our men flee the field of battle. This is a immediately. shameful display. He claims to have had knowledge of the plot. Well, it's over. And I hopefully they will not occupy sack or raise it. The worst option would be they sack it. I mean, raise it. And we have to colonize and start building it all over again. And suggested that Sextus Pompey, son of Pompey, be recalled to Rome along with others exiled by Caesar. They next sent messengers to Antony and Six Lepidus, really garbage units, Germanic pikemen, and, and Palatina is all of very shit units. ...was continued working for the people of Rome. Um, the Caesarians, still hungry for revenge, were nervous, particularly of Decimus, who owned the gladiators and was governor of Cisalpine Gaul, putting him in command of a significant army. They did not risk putting themselves at odds with him and agreed to negotiate. Oh, yeah. Antony, who was yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't tell me you sack it. That the Senate be summoned. Uh, the, the best option would be they just sack it and go. No, thank God, they just sack it. The not now. Gaius Tertinius Piso was deceased. Western Roman separatists. Which he had previously denounced as being given by a Thermus Vidicus Aquila is deceased. Verona and Venetius have not been sacked, and Sixtus Lollius and Bustus are not burned. Political favor. The Senate was divided. Some denounced the conspirators, a larger portion praised them, well, and others their army. took a middle ground, simply wanting peace. It was initially proposed and that a Verona. Be taken. Now, 20 stacks against the Spanish guys should be enough. Right. Army in the Midiolanum can take them out. We cannot follow this order. Immediately changed his position, claiming to be horrified at the idea of honoring those who murdered Caesar. Antony then also told that Rome was full of Caesar's veterans, and that they would likely not take kindly to Caesar's law March. being repealed. Many now go up there. Commander, to the veterans, uh, destroy them! them! And Voidy was almost certainly yeah. by some of the most experienced soldiers of the Republic. Finally, Cicero Good. took the stage, advocating a revolution. On the move! Out that seeking vengeance would only beget more violence, and that their duty was to move forward in a way Ready that for was best for the people. His solution was simple and effective. 
all of Caesar at your command. Dictator would be ratified and the conspirators lives would be spared. Hire more. Antony was willing to agree on the condition that Caesar and was hire more archers instead. Soldiering. It's a good life. All parties agreed. And now, and compromise had finally been reached. Imperial vindicated. Ready for orders. Shattered him out. Wipe them out. The capital. Find themselves liberated. They found that Caesar had robbed the Republic of its freedom by assigning magistrates for the next five years. Good. And had been sentenced to prison for tribute. The irony of this is not hard to spot. The senators, including the supporters Move back of the liberators, to Nicolana. ready for battle. That Caesar's magistrate position and would be upheld. Whereas true they now, the these accolades are vulnerable, and, had denied it. and they are armies. Moreover, can they reach Midalanum? No, they only can reach Verona and Fira Emperor. Brutus and Cassius oh. also promised to give land to Caesar's veterans. Although, and we have to raise a new legion now, here, yeah. arrange that this legion we want to stay, Septimus Rutilius Baba, at your command. go ahead. With the official pardoning of the liberators made public, Cassius, Brutus and the other conspirators, we need good fighters! Four archers would be fine. As has been decided earlier, Caesar's will was the the public. He gave his private gardens to the people to be used as a public space. Repax, a newly raised legion. Well, that's the only troops I could afford now. What else happened? The Roman Supremacists declared war on Jews. He had made his first major public appearance when he gave his close to for his grandmother Verona. and had asked to join Caesar during his after Size of victory. But had been prevented Size of victory. I lost said, this army. This doctor in law has been utterly campaign, destroyed by an enemy. But had been too sick to take part Building in a constructor. Try again. For procrastinate her favor. Household. Not expecting this sudden Army change in power, wealth, and prestige. Perhaps even more shocking was Caesar's. We have a reinstated former army. Its name continues to echo through the ages. Decimus Brutus, one of the leading assassins, new general, more enforcing. The people began turning against the liberators. Authority. Caesar's body was brought out with the crowd lamenting loudly. And the stage was set for Antony to have arguably his most important in Roman politics. He Fine. read all the laws passed by Caesar that would now be upheld, giving particular weight to those that related okay, to the what people else is going specifically. On here. He read all the titles that Caesar had been granted, Lucius Domitius, father of the country, and course. emphasized the sanctity of Caesar's offices. And now there is another and then lifted the bloody there you go. Of Caesar on a spear. He is more vulnerable because he he doesn't have fortifications. So instead, fight and harass him. Depleted army. This army now cannot do anything. What else? The crowd rampaged, burning down the Senate chambers where Caesar had been assassinated and hunting for the liberators throughout the city. What else? Most either fled or Rome or barricaded themselves in their homes with armed guards. One man, Sinner, who happens to share his name with one of the conspirators, was okay. mistaken for being the Sinner who had been involved in the plot Garmach and has was captured quite literally to pieces. They Let's see if we can Caesar's have any relationship with them. Do not try my patience with the dolls. But there they were stopped by priests of the temple. Instead, they took Caesar's body Promise. back to the forum. Benches, parts of stalls, any wood that they could get their hands on was piled into a huge pyre, and well, Caesar's body was burnt. Atomic. Let's check if we As have the burnt, people flung any available buildings, including weapons, armor, jewelry, and clothes. With one speech, Antony has turned the public against the liberators and forced them to flee. The only ones who remained were Cassius and Junius Brutus, who, as praetors of Rome, only held power within the Can city. Can I move on? Military made up presence, public or he was very badly. At first, the Senate blamed him for Phoenicia, the fight and hunting fine, of the liberators. But However, Can he move the army now? Win them over. No. A man called Amati claimed to be the grandson of Gaius Marius, and thus related to Caesar. 
and had been a leading figure in the riots. On April 13th, Anthony so had a Matthias execution with okay. a trial, and this won him the support the of the Senate, punishing. but severely damaged his standing with the plebeians, and there should be a who took to the army nearby protest. by here. In response, Antony dispersed the crowd with soldiers, then proceeded to execute the ringleaders. In less Anonymous. than a month, Antony had alienated himself from the plebs, and aligned himself firmly with the Senate. To further secure this alliance, Antony abolished the office of dictator, and even suggested that Sextus Pompey be recalled and named commander of the seas. The Senate eagerly accepted, and even Cicero was for a time won over by Antony. Uh, fine. However, it did not take long on in the politics. began abusing his power. He began spending Caesar's vast fortune, Arvina. which was in his care to distribute to Octavius Sextus Ambustus. And fabricated Everybody various got legislation office. purportedly written by Caesar to further his own agenda. Fine. He paid huge gifts to win cities and foreign princes to his and side, began naming Hilarious. members of the Senate, and amassed a huge bodyguard Hilarious is as many as 6, my family member, right? who had fought alongside Antony. Lepidus, Hilarious, who was the other leader Master of the Senate had been advocating for revenge, yeah, but Antony was mine. quick to placate him with the marriage of his daughter to Lepidus' son, Pritic status. and appointing Lepidus as Pontifex Maximus. Antony was focusing power into his own hands, making Cassius and Brutus wary. Yep. They had no supporters among the plebs or veterans, and the Senate was now being increasingly won over by Antony. Both men subtly excused All right, themselves on, from the of... and retreated well, to their houses in the country. From here, they sent messages to Decimus in Cisalpine Gaul to ready his legions, and to well, Trebonius in Asia, and Tilius in Bithynia More to begin the raising the funds. By this point, Antony effectively held as much power as Caesar had done, and rumours circulated and that he was seeking a province with an army to command. Retreat back. Some senators were still not supporting him though, which encouraged Dolabella, the other consul for the year, to oppose Antony whenever possible. Antony, however, was aware of how ambitious Dolabella was, and encouraged the young man to request the command of Syria for the following year, including command of and Caesar's And making attack. Rather than put this to the Senate first, as was the custom, Antony persuaded Dolabella to take the new proposed law They've been bring, bring, bringing two forces. Syria had been assigned to Cassius, however, and the Senate attempted to block the proposal, but Antony was able to force it through. <laughs> This is really not Dolabella enough to beat the Huns, but we'll try. Antony then requested the Senate to give him the governance of Macedonia, a province Caesar had assigned to Brutus. With Dolabella being given such a rich and powerful province, this seemed a relatively small demand. Macedonia having no Only legions, problem was so these the Senate Hanikors archers. Cassius was compensated with the governance of Crete and Cyrenaica, while Brutus was given Bithynia. Meanwhile, Octavian had still been in Illyria, debating his If the Huns win, I'm pretty sure they're going to raise it to the ground. to take control of the army that he'd been training with and seek revenge. His parents, we have however, to take back wrote to him to come to Rome as Aquileum. a private citizen in order to attract as little attention as possible. If they raise it, probably Rome even Illyrians are going to colonize Aquileia. Octavian knew he had to be in Rome to understand the situation, and so he left the army and sailed across the Adriatic. When he arrived in Italy, more accurate information regarding the assassination and Caesar's will was sent to him. Still, he was uneasy, many encouraging him to denounce the adoption by Caesar completely. When he arrived in Brundisium, however, huge crowds flocked to him, and veterans greeted him as Caesar's son. Octavian immediately accepted the adoption, officially changing his name to Gaius Julius Caesar. Hearing this, more and more soldiers, army. veterans, and sympathizers Don't let them side. come over here. Along with them came more news from Rome. Of course, we're going to use Western Auxilia Palatina first. The proposed first. recall of Sextus Pompey and other exiles, and more. With his okay. increasingly large retinue, Octavian now made his way to Rome. However, as a private citizen, Stand ready! had no defensive real power to He used defensive Antony to was the man with all the power. And more importantly for Octavian, all of these oh, possessions, including his and vast defend. fortune. And in order to have any real power in the city, Octavian needed this oh. money. He not only had Caesar's legacy of 75 to each citizen to distribute, yes. but also political allies to repay and others to bribe. 
Octavian thanks Anthony for giving Caesar and the top you guys. And come on, he asked for the gold that Caesar had amassed for his war against Parthia in order to pay the citizens of Rome. And also asked that he might have given a loan okay. from his private purse or from the treasury to cover his other expenses. While Octavian would here. immediately put his properties up for sale okay. in order to pay Since it's all of its are Antony was completely arches. taken aback. Octavian had no power, Better had no leverage, and he had shots. no right to be so critical and making requests from Antony, so he was quick to refuse. He pointed out that, like it or not, the senators were the representative body of Rome. Caesar had not, and he made clear, left Octavian the Roman government in his And of work. course this got equitas no much against Hanic Calori, tied to overrule the constitution. Regarding the money, and? Antony found Octavian's requests laughable. Antony claimed that, though Caesar had been a rich man, much of his wealth was distributed across a number of assets, many of which were now disputed by various individuals. And? Some of these had been seized after his assassination, others had not yet been you some cash. here. In reality, Antony and had already come. spent a significant amount of Caesar's fortune, and had deliberately slowed down the process of Octavian's adoption to further begins. handicap the young man. Antony made it clear that what Caesar's assets had been oh, assessed damn it. and the many individual disputes Fuck. resolved, Calorie. Octavian would get a portion of the remaining money. They got nowhere to go. Octavian left in a fury. Octavian and Antony were immediately at loggerheads. Well, I don't want to die. Octavian, contesting a number of the assets he had oh, inherited, where, where as some had belonged them? to men who Caesar had exiled, but had now been allowed to return. Right, just, While others claimed that there. some of the assets were Come seized by like Caesar that. unjustifiably. Antony, and this. his brother Gaius, who was mm. a city praetor, and Dolabella presided just, over many of these cases. I don't know what to say now. That Octavian just got just stay here. Hi. Octavian was forced to put all of his inherited now, properties up for sale shoot them. in order to find the money to settle these debts. And of course, he was positioned shot. Our general is being attacked! Denarius. Keep him alive! To Antony. They yeah. had also been given part of Caesar's wealth in his will, and were worried that there would be nothing left after the various wars. They were worried that Caesar's will had been cleared, and that the Caesar's will had been cleared. The tower has been totally destroyed! Allowing Pedius and Marius to take their share of Caesar's will, which will have a taken share. So, in fact, those who are saying that they agreed to afford Caesar's actions, this will also be. Okay. We're done using it. Then I suggest you go here. Defend them. Yep. Over here. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Next one is here. Octavian, however, opposed this. He sold all his properties at the lowest price he could, used what personal money he had, Perfect. and the money from Pedius and Penarius, and you to finally pay Caesar's here. gift of money to the people. Octavian had gone through so much to get this money, yeah. that the gift Enemy was now seen as more to the gift from him than from Caesar. Yeah. When the games were held, and the heralds paid by Antony, began to call for the return of Brutus and Cassius, many of the people, Once again, set for war. In Rome, 
the relationship between Octavian and Cicero and Antony was almost at a breaking point. Meanwhile, the liberators were starting keep, to gather keep their forces. pushing them back. Keep killing them. In Asia, and and Cassius oh yes, yes. Their Once their ammunition is done, in Sicily, they have no option but to, still not yet officially but to fight me. The ship has replenished its ammunition. Yep, that's the main problem. In our next video, we'll talk about the beginning of this civil war. So make sure you are subscribed and have pressed the bell button to see it. Please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. It helps immensely. Our videos would be impossible without our kind patrons and YouTube channel members, whose ranks you can join via the links in the description to know our schedule, yeah, get early access sure. to our videos, Keep access firing. our Discord, and much more. Palatina this guys. is the Kings and Generals channel, yeah. and we will catch you. Oh, and just move the men are running! Stand and fight, damn you! Just use it. Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. Yeah, it's too much. Too many honey cars. The enemy general is dead! Fine, at least their morale is gonna shatter, I hope. These long videos are very difficult to make, so consider liking, sharing, and Hurry commenting. I hope Caesar so. Caesar knew everything about strategy and probably would have enjoyed the sponsor of this oh, video, yes. Infinity Keep Kingdom. Firing. And it's a graphically impressive looking MMO strategy Order, game featuring understood. elements of immortal, Our men return to the fight. It's easy to start and get into, but hard to master, making it a great choice both for veterans of the strategy genre and for novices. In Infinity Kingdom, you have all seven different magical oh, nice. elements of immortal and dragon, leading your troops to battle. Let's get back home. Every immortal and dragon belongs to one magical group. And each element okay. has its own strength. Keep firing. This feature enhances the Four, three, of two two, one. With a lot of the two formation. Replenish ammo. Allowing each player to form a unique playstyle. Perfect. There are more than 50 immortals. The men are running. Among them Cowards. Caesar, Ashoka, Attila, and Atlas. No, don't run away. And the combination of them will allow you to build an excellent team to defeat your enemies right. and secure your kingdom. Infinity Kingdom's distinctive cartoon style is extremely fun to look at and play. And you can play the game using just one account, both on mobile and PC. So, and what are you, you replenish your ammo to too. Perfect. This game. Download the game I think I almost have half of their troops. To get prizes right now. So this guy is really God, useful. In really he useful. Very useful. Our forces have found their courage. The bad thing is, instead of damage, it becomes go high and my morale is go down. That's the bad thing. No one took him out. Go there instead. I almost forgot, there's one, my, one of my troops is here, right? We could maybe send him up here. Our men are breaking up! He immediately left in pursuit, leaving Antony to oversee the political here. situation in Rome. It was the time yeah, of year where the election for the next year's lift up your morale. usually be decided, and Caesar's the unit to shoot all available ammunition would be seen, would be coming to an end. Caesar would entrust Antony with ensuring that his wait. political power continued. Having picked up on Pompey's trail through informants in Asia Minor, mercenary Bosphon or Bosphon, ammunition replenished, called themselves, as well as a few more from Asia Minor. On board were two Good. legions, B6 and 27, Firing. totaling just around 3,200 infantry, as many soldiers as had been lost to war and illness over the years. That's it. And your range, cavalry. your range, your range. Caesar only learned of his ex triumvir's death upon his arrival in Alexandria at the start of the war. Lift up the morale, never just forget that. Just a few that. days after Pompey's death. According to Plutarch at Cassius Dio, when Caesar was first presented with Pompey's head, he turned away disgusted. He was next presented to Caesar with Pompey, just, just at just which point sure Caesar broke all. down in tears. General. Just kill them all, that's Both it. Historians interpret this <laughs> Caesar, <laughs> 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 
Just on the problem. Shoot, shoot. Yeah. I really can't afford to lose him. Yeah. I'm to kill him. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Yeah, don't tell me he's going to be under loss. No, 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 don't lose hope, don't lose hope. Ultimate politicians, such as Gaius Cassius, now returns to Rome and appeals for forgiveness from Caesar. Don't lose hope, don't lose hope, instead fight. Instead fight. He returns to the Senate, where he hopes to use his influence to do what he could to preserve the Republic. Kill that son of a bitch. With Caesar in Egypt now being a dictator, okay, this ammunition almost done, and this motherfucker has the ammunition is the the of the kingdom and its debt to the world. Last minute. Alright, you go, fight. Don't let the general die. That's that will put a matter. Alright, good, good, good. I think it's a victory. Yeah. This motherfucker's always done. Ptolemy XII had borrowed huge sums of money from Rome throughout his life. Enemy troops are at the walls! There was still an unpaid debt of 17.5 million drachmae to the Republic, which constituted approximately half of Egypt's yearly revenue. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. And also saw an opportunity to solidify Roman influence in the area. Console when the alliance with Egypt was made. Uh, broken and are fleeing. Caesar thought it his obligation to see that pro-Roman rule in Egypt was maintained and that the debt was paid. Our men are wavering. Come on, yeah. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. To take a diplomatic approach. Just stood it, just stood it. Suggesting that Ptolemy and Cleopatra both disband their armies and that he acts as an army. Come on, 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 he also requested the debt be paid. Oh was shit! To reduce it to ten million drachmae. Ptolemy, third pharaoh by title, was don't tell me you're going to lose it now. As such, was being advised by a men flee the field of battle. Egypt this is a shameful display. Bothinus, a eunuch, was one of the most influential of these advisors. It had been on his advice that Pompey had been assassinated. Our men have regrouped. To carry favor with Caesar. Now he opposed Caesar's suggestions. He saw Caesar's arrival as a threat to royal authority. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! He even went so far uh, as to this bring Pompey's royal army into Alexandria. Just two units of them left. Achilles, one of Pompey's killers. The them more ammunition! This ship will continue Caesar's firing! Come over here. Armies be disbanded. And receive, and in response, receive fire. Caesar sent messengers to Cleopatra. Perhaps 
thinking she would be able to better fulfill his demands without requiring a regent. Come on, come on, go, go die, you fucking hell. Cleopatra decided to meet Caesar in secret within Alexandria. Pluto Enemy forces have destroyed an entire unit! Meeting, in which Cleopatra, with the help of her right hand man, Apollodorus, Okay, you're 39. You come over here. Yeah. And lure them inside. While I just fighting. The ship has replenished its ammunition. Come on. Lure them inside. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here. Let them come inside. A unit is running from the enemy. Come on. The man's resolve is failing. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. Caesar immediately tries to reconcile the two monarchs, proclaiming them co monarchs, and offering the island of Cyprus. Come on, don't run away. Oh, victory, thank God. It was so close that we're going to lose. Alright. Pyrrhic victory. Pothinus, however, was not happy with this agreement. But I don't think our generals died. I think he's still alive. And Hanukkah is very, very badly damaged, and I hope they're not going to return. At least their first wave of attack is repulsed. Attempting to explain that he only wanted to be an officer of the will, as was his legal right. These emissaries were killed on Achilles' orders. The message was clear. A fight was imminent. Caesar was aware oh, that he did not God. have men to fight This we didn't the lose our settlement. Only having the 4,000 he had brought from Greece. Instead, he ordered his men to seize the royal quarters where he had been housed. Within these quarters were Cleopatra, Pothinus, Asinoe, and the boy Pharaoh Ptolemy himself. Having taken control of the Pharaoh, Caesar awaited Achilles' next moves. Morians, Aphrodite's Macron and stuff. 2,000 cavalry, all experienced veterans. Their numbers were swelled still oh, further are coming by the fight. rioting Alexandrian citizens and even slaves. Who aligned with the army and took up military alliance for 10,000? Sure, make an alliance with you. Caesar was forced to begin further fortifying his position and to send messengers to allies and his forces in Asia Minor requesting reinforcements. What had started as a simple military mission has now devolved into a siege. Achilles' army occupied the majority of the city to the west, including the Euanstos Harbour, while Caesar only held the royal quarters and the royal harbour. Achilles regularly attacked Caesar's position, probing for weaknesses, but the narrow streets held the difference in numbers. Caesar oh, fuck me. There you're gonna attacks. make an attack again. Achilles next turned his attention to the great harbour, where both the Egyptian fleet well, I guess this time I got more troops. If Three full stack. The ships, he would be able to cut off any chance of I guess my depleted army. Or receiving reinforcements. And Garrison is so fucked. Against three full stack. Sent a larger force to seize the harbour. Caesar was well aware of the strategic value of the harbour. And so, leaving as right. small a force as was necessary to hold the defences, he led his men to the harbour. The fighting around Let's the fight harbour here, was I guess. brutal, and Caesar quickly realised he did not have enough men to win this fight. No one loves the man the whom he fears. Instead, Caesar effectively fought a delaying action, holding off the Egyptian force long enough for his men to set fire to the Egyptian fleet and pull their own fleet back to the royal harbour. The fire was ferocious and spread quickly, partially burning the <laughs> Infantry is about to be charged by cavalry, make sure it's stationary. The was relatively minor, fortunately, and That's the library would continue chalk. for a number of centuries afterwards. Seizing the opportunity of having naval supremacy, Caesar sailed a portion of his men to the island of Pharos, which controlled access to all Alexandria's harbours, establishing a small garrison there. 
likely around the promenade on which the lighthouse itself was situated. Caesar and the rest of his forces then retreated back to the royal quarters. As long as they fear. In improving his defenses, Pothinus continued his resistance from the inside. Secretly, he sent messages to Achilles, encouraging him to continue his attacks, and plotted to assassinate Caesar. Caesar's men, however, were able to catch some of Pothinus's messengers. Our settlement stands, but much has been destroyed. Yeah, fucking Hans. Oh, this is my fuckers who can attack me, bitches. And not no watchtowers. Alright, I guess we'll just fight them here, I guess. Oh shit, I really hate this game now. I'm starting to hate this game now. Alright, Auxilia Palatina has much better defenders. Some as high as 12 yeah, Auxilia Palatine is much better to finish. Accurus frequently sent some of his militia forces to assault various oh, forces yeah. to look for And, of course, let's maximize all our... But with little success. Perhaps frustrated by this lack of success, a rift began to form between the Defensive Let's maximize our troops to fire them. And of course, in general, I wanted to stay nearby, but not by nearby like that. Just, just, just stay nearby like this. It's so badly damaged the last turn. And guess what? We're gonna send Balistaria too. Send them to hell, those fuckers. But the Alexandrians were renowned engineers and were quickly able to complete the project, thus making Caesar's position even more precarious. From two sides. Some of Caesar's men started to panic, some saying that they should have retreated much earlier. Fortunately for them, Caesar took control of the situation. He made it clear that if they were to attempt to retreat, the Alexandrians would catch them before yeah. they could successfully evacuate everyone. He instead ordered wells to be dug day and night, and fresh water was soon found, avoiding understood. Though the situation had been quickly yeah. rectified, it was clear that Ganymedes was a dangerous enemy, not to be taken lightly. Stay there. As time passed, Caesar's situation in Alexandria improved. Alright, that's all our troops deploy. Let them come, bitches. Let them come. Oh, the reinforcements not openly not from behind. By dispatching two legions, enemy reinforcements approaching. And the 35th by land. Where are they approaching? The 35th was still far from reaching Egypt. But the 37th had not from his area. He had prevented them pulling into Alexandria's harbor. Instead, making landfall further down the coast and sending a small boat to inform about them for now. Caesar of their arrival. Caesar badly needed these men. What's that? And so, Second wind. Fatigue. All his to hold They're not really tired for now. Alexandria. Don't worry about it. He left with his fleet and their so let's see. Okay. Shoot. They bought 40, 60 units. So 40 units for us, we still have 20 units. Obviously, no way we're gonna win this war. No way. No fucking way. Now, let's do the... Good. 
retreated. No, right. Season was yeah. able to continue to the 37th. And in the last minute, 5,000 men to his numbers, towing their transports into Africa and arriving General. back in Alexandria. Sorry. Yeah, time is over. But I will end the uh, part 14 after this battle. Yeah. 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 From the Taurus. They are the ones which attack him. Just make sure. I'll pull it out from the tourists. I'm trying to take out our general. No Defend him. Defensive You go and help them out. Manning them with infantry from the region. You come back here. Caesar setting off from the Royal Harbor and Ganymedes from the Inospos. The two fleets met just off the yes, coast yes. of the Paris Island. Caesar and Ganymedes both drew their fleets into two lines. Between the two fleets were shoals, with a narrow channel being the only path through. Both sides held their position. And 20 seconds. I take that. No one is coming from this side now. Only from that side. Uh, starting to lose more. And another attack is taking place. Control your pillops. Yeah. We need to shatter them. First. Really not easy to fight them at once like that. So low. The retreat was not organized, 
Many choosing to jump from the bridge and mold. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Damaged. Go. Oh, good. Fatigue. And it's gonna take how long? I don't know. Let's go first. Fast forward is taking too much time. No, no, no. Don't take the studio. you And a good thing they don't have no missile groups. Else it will be problematic. Else it will be problematic. He first sets ships with and archers to attack the Alexandrian garrison holding the bridge, forcing them to retreat, and then landed and another three cohorts, oh, about 1,500 right. men on the mole. These men were then Barrage. the enemy is the walls. to defend the bridge from the Alexandrian side, while men from the Pharos brought up stones from destroyed no buildings more. to block the archers. Just you guys, come Forces over here. When the Alexandrians suddenly made a huge push their missile troops and munitions. Simultaneously bringing up light ships to try and land some of their own men on okay. the mole. With Caesar on the mole, do, some of his ships tried to take do, the initiative themselves, landing marines, slingers, and archers. Initially, these missiles were effective at fending off the Alexandrian light ships, but eventually the ships bypassed their position, landing behind them on the mole. These lightly armed troops were quickly outfought by the Alexandrians, and panic ensued as they attempted to retreat back to their ships. Caesar and the three cohorts were now caught in a pincer. Is your fatigue fresh? The cohorts also began to break. Some fought a desperate last stand and were cut down. Many and more troops keep arriving. To retreat to their transports. Among these was Caesar. Due to the sheer number and panic, however. Many of these transports began to capsize. Thinking fast, Caesar was forced to strip his armor and dive off the boat, swimming to his nearby ships to save his life. The battle had been a disaster for Caesar. Uh, Though Pharos Island whatever. was in Caesar's hands, the bridge was not, and so the Alexandrians could still use the arch to harass his own ships. No damage. Moreover, according to Caesar himself, our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Fatigue. Hopefully, this side breaks. So we could come over here and finish him off there. Caesar, requesting Ptolemy be returned to them in exchange for an end to the hostilities. Come on, all charge. Caesar relented and him. handed the Pharaoh over with the understanding that Ptolemy would then negotiate peace terms. The young king betrayed Caesar, however, and took control of the army. Continuing the assaults on Caesar's defenses. Fine. The decision to hand the over the broken and are fleeing. In his own account, Caesar okay. relays how his own officers and centurions strongly criticized sure. him for his lack of Finished judgment and trust in the king. Caesar attempts to justify his decision, claiming it was part of a far-sighted strategy which his men did not understand, and that Ptolemy had cried and begged Caesar to let him stay. This seems a clear point where Caesar was using his narrative to try and revise the events and put a positive spin on things. It is far more like the enemy refuses to admit defeat. That's a unit of rally. by letting go. And judging by how much Caesar attempts to mask this, he was well aware that he had made a mistake. Nevertheless, roughly a month later, around the end of February or start of March, Caesar's fortunes began to turn. His allies in Asia Minor had been rallying a force together and marching through Syria and the Levant to Egypt, while supplies were being sent by ship to Caesar. Word of this had already reached the Alexandrians, however, who sent a fleet to intercept the supplies. As soon as Caesar heard of this, he sent his own ships, commanded by Tiberius Nero and Euphranor, to defend his allies' supply ships. Yenosh. Though the Romans were able to win the battle, you know. Euphranor's ship was surrounded These guys. and the Rhodians just enough to hold the line. The army was also seeing success. The force was around uh, yeah, the son of Germanic Hurlers and the Quintus Cotta. An experienced, talented Konodama. general and close friend of Caesar. He has now made it to the Nile Delta, having already stormed and seized the strategically important town of Pelusium. 
an Egyptian force was hastily gathered and sent to attack Mithridates at the river, hoping to either destroy his army, or at the very least, prevent him from reaching Alexandria and supporting Caesar. Mithridates had been well trained in the Roman style of warfare, however, and skillfully fortified his position, holding mm -hmm. the Egyptians in check and in heavy casualties as he Fine. did so. Just, 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 just. Hold them Messengers back. Messengers were sent to both Caesar and Ptolemy of these events, both learning of them around the same time. Ptolemy knew Mithridates had to be crushed, or else risk Mithridates attacking his and force use in your from the rear while stuff. they were busy besieging Caesar. Similarly, Caesar was well aware that any hope of victory now rested in Mithridates' army. Both decided to move to the Nile, Ptolemy leaving just the militia in Alexandria and sending uh... his army down the river, Caesar leaving a light garrison in Alexandria before taking the sea route. Ptolemy had the quicker route and was able to reach the Nile Delta before Use Caesar, your ability to fatigue him. already there and Keep taking attacking. a strong defensive position on high ground with their rear protected by the Nile, one flank by rocky high ground and the other flank by marshland. Caesar arrived shortly afterwards, before Ptolemy could launch an attack on Mithridates' position, meeting Mithridates approximately seven miles away from Ptolemy's camp. In order to reach the king, they would need to ford a small river. Ptolemy sent a force of cavalry and light infantry to this river, no, 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 hoping no. to harass Caesar and his allies as they crossed. However, Caesar's Germanic and Gallic cavalry, by now experienced in river crossings, had been sent ahead of Caesar's main army. Enemy units have returned uh, to the hopefully battle! Hopefully no more Meanwhile, reinforcements coming. Cut down it's trees, taking too long. Placing them across the river as makeshift bridges and ordered them to charge across. The legions poured across, falling upon the Egyptian light infantry and cavalry. As they did, Caesar's Gallic and Germanic cavalry appeared, charging into the Egyptian flank, routing them almost immediately. Well, yeah. Only a few managed to make it to Ptolemy's camp. The rest being cut down by Caesar's cavalry. As was his custom, Caesar encamped close to the enemy, stationing his men at the bottom of the hill, eager to tempt his enemy into battle. With Ptolemy in command of the army, a victory here would put an end to all Egyptian resistance. Caesar had with him the 37th Legion, the remnants of the 6th and 27th, plus the reinforcements brought by Mithridates, Roughly 20,000 infantry and another 1,000 cavalry. Don't worry, hold them back. Most of general tanks should be larger, easier. Perhaps 27,000, including the 20,000 veterans who had been in Alexandria go, 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 go. and 2,000 cavalry. Go, you guys can do it. With Ptolemy's force being larger and holding the better position, Caesar attempted to draw the young king out of position by attacking a nearby hamlet that had been lightly garrisoned by Ptolemy's men. He committed his whole force to this attack, routing the garrison. But the whole Ptolemy's unit has been destroyed! Caesar come on, come on, you guys. The Egyptians up the on the mag, on the mag, on the mag. Hoping that the panicked garrison might trigger a mass rout. Ptolemy's men held their positions, however, and Caesar's men now found themselves in a tough uphill battle against an entrenched enemy. Some of his men tried to circle around the Egyptian position, attempting to attack Ptolemy from the rear, but these men were soon peppered by missiles, not just from the high ground, but also from Ptolemy's ships on the river. Effectively cut off from the rest of Caesar's force, these men took brutal casualties, having little choice but to try and hide behind their shields. So far, Caesar was making little headway, and his men were starting to lose ground. Shatter. Shatter. As they were being shatter. Back, though, shatter. The Alexandrians were pushing All I want from you, shatter. Out of their camp and slowly moving further off the high ground. Noticing this crucial error, Caesar sent a detachment of cohorts to skirt around the battle lines to seize Ptolemy's Enemy camp. units have rallied and returned to the battle. Defenses, Doesn't matter. The few Egyptians there before rushing down the hill to attack Ptolemy's main force in the rear. This move proved decisive, triggering mass panic along Ptolemy's line, which quickly broke. They retreated in chaos to the river, piling onto their ships, many of which capsized in the confusion. Many Egyptians weighed down Come on, by their armor, General first. drowned in the river. Among them, the young the men are running. himself. Stand and fight, damn you! 
wasting Kill no time after this victory, Caesar immediately goes to Alexandria with his cavalry, proclaiming his success and Thomas Come on, death. do something. With the king Bastards. dead, the militia there immediately surrendered. Caesar had won. We do not know how many casualties there were on either side. Caesar's men, who had tried to attack the camp from the Nile side, are said to have taken heavy casualties, and Caesar's force had been forced to fight a difficult battle. Given these circumstances, an approximation of around 1,000 to 2,000 losses for Caesar seems probable, and perhaps as many as 10,000 for the Egyptians. Following the campaign, Caesar embarked on a three-month-long pleasure cruise with Cleopatra down the Nile, where he, in Appian's words, generally enjoyed himself with her. Soon afterwards, Cleopatra gave birth to a boy, Ptolemy XV, who would later be nicknamed Caesarian. Though Caesar never officially acknowledged Caesarian as being his son, his birth, in June 47 BC, would align with Cleopatra's first meeting with Caesar at the end of 48 BC. Cleopatra on, insisted on, that Caesar general. was the father, and it is also worth remembering that Cleopatra that had spent most of that time in the in Alexandria, 15, and so did not 10. have access to a large number of suitors. So long, uh, Cleopatra well. agreed to pay the 10 million drachmate debt requested by Caesar, and was named co-ruler with her brother Ptolemy XIV in sibling marriage naming both friends of Rome. In total, Caesar's escapade in Egypt had taken a full nine months. Plutarch calls it not necessary, inglorious and full of peril. It is hard to disagree with this assessment. Just Caesar had successfully oh, had no, Egyptian no, no, no. debt paid Fuck, and pro-Roman rulers in storage. He had wasted a lot of time and his attention had been badly needed elsewhere. In the nine months Caesar was in Egypt, Antony, though talented on the battlefield, had proven to be a poor governor. His refusal to cancel outstanding debts was unpopular not only with yeah, senators, also but also with players. Oh, fuck, the new troops are arriving. What the fuck? The unrest this caused was so great that Antony had resorted to bringing soldiers into the city of Rome itself in a desperate attempt Shut to contain the situation. Caesar's lieutenant, Quintus Cassius Longinus, who had been left to govern Hispania Ulterior, had been equally disastrous. His tyrannical Come on, full charge. had even led to a short-lived pro-optimate rebellion. Full charge. Furthermore, some of his men had rebelled and proclaimed Marcellus as the new praetor instead. Oh, no, no, no. The province Stay. of Illyricum had also been stirred to revolt by Marcus yeah. Octavius, who was constantly Check assaulting power in the area. In Asia Minor, Phanakis II of Pontus, another son of Mithridates VI, had taken advantage of the chaos caused by the civil war, the attacking a number of Roman allies. Meanwhile, throughout the last nine months, Cato, Scipio, the sons of Pompey and Labienus, had been consolidating their strength in North Africa, amassing a vast army. Caesar had entered Alexandria as dictator and effectively master of the Roman world, save for a rebellious faction in North Africa. Uh, he was now leaving with dissent, war, uh, and rebellion in North badly Africa, defeated. Spain, Italy, Illyricum, and Asia Minor, leaving three legions in Egypt, the 27th, 37th, and newly finally arrived 35th. Caesar took the remains of the veteran 6th and marched for Asia Minor through Syria. At the end of 48 BC, GG. while Caesar was see the field of battle. and a new the fresh troops are losing our advantage. advantage. Seemed to be crumbling. Rome, governed by Antony, was in chaos. The Pompeian faction in North Africa was rebuilding a large army, and there had been rebellions and pro Pompeian insurrections in Spain and Illyria. Caesar had continuously been recruiting to try and contain the situation. Reinstituting legions one, two, three, and four. The some men have of which broken were made and are of ex Pompeian soldiers. But the problems mm. persisted. This legion One of the most really. pressing of these problems was in Asia Minor. Oh, come on, then. Son of the infamous fight. enemy of Rome, Mithridates fight, the Sixth. The king of Bosphorus, Phanakis the Second, was eager to go return to under go on. his control. And he had seized uh. upon the opportunity presented by the civil war 
Break! Bastards. Caesar's victory could not be so quickly tarnished by a foreign king. Varnakis has to be dealt with. With Caesar trapped in Alexandria, men have his responsibility groups. fell to his longtime ally, Gnaeus Domitius Calvinus. Domitius had distinguished himself in Caesar's Greek campaign, keeping Scipio's army pinned and commanding Caesar's center at Pharsalus. In recognition of this service, he had been appointed governor of the Roman province of Asia. Soon after his appointment, uh, I am going to stop this recording. It's too boring. In Lesser Armenia and Cappadocia, land that belongs to the allied Roman And of course, battle was lost, but wow, the army is shattered too. But oh, please, please, don't occupy it. Don't occupy it. Don't raise it. Don't liberate. Just don't do anything. Just sack it. Oh, thank you so much. Alright guys, and that would be the end of uh, the part 14, well, 15 or whatever. Karadek is dead here, and Brazil is dead, Segundus, so Alistair Grant is dead, Vern is sank, and army destroyed. Alright, see you in the part, next part.